Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Great White Dragon Nation of Celestial Mountain. After the new moon in Cancer, yesterday's 7-7 seven, seven portal, and our Stargate alignment with our spiritual son Sirius, all energies have prepared and activated our Starseed ground crew team of the 144 for our full shift to our 5D new golden age of eternal life. Our local Solaris has become very active again today, releasing 13 C-class solar flares and an M-class flare, maxing at M1.15 at 1241 UTC. We also had a six-hour blackout today on the Schumann charts after Mother Earth's heartbeat reached an amplitude yesterday at 95 hertz, higher dimensional energetics fully anchored in. We begin a whole new 260-day galactic spin today on the Mayan Zolking calendar, beginning with the Red Dragon Wave Spell and Keen One, Red Magnetic Dragon. Together our Dragon Nation of the New Avalon rise and take our rightful place as guardians and protectors of Mother Earth and all her children of the Sun. Synchronizing with the powerful energies today, we have another galactic activation portal day on the Mayan Zolking calendar. Today we end all cycles within cycles, release all suffering programs, and integrate the freedom codes of new creation into our DNA, hearts, and minds as we walk the sacred earth as Buddhas, the awakened ones of Terra Nova Gaia. In the pure awareness of our original true nature, we free ourself and all of humanity from samsara, the wheels of birth and death, and step into our everlasting life as sovereign and free light beings of the universal one. We return to the natural one law of the Tao as we step into our roles as leaders and wayshowers of the new earth living from our hearts, being connected to all things as real human beings. It is time to release and let go of all that is holding us back from our breakthrough in the light and take our quantum leap of faith into the unknown as we call in our highest timelines of freedom, peace, and prosperity for all our good people of the new earth. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful quantum prayer. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And now we continue with Divine Sistar of the Light, Jennifer Catron. Karmics are here to serve lessons in self-love, unique blueprint embodiment. Divine partnerships are the result. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sophie Gregoire. Today's Oracle. An entire life is changing, shifting, upgrading. It's felt on all levels, purpose, mission, sacred calling, relationships. It's all being reframed. Your reality is reorganizing for you. Feel and listen. Something is just beginning. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Jessica Woods. Invite and activate Divine DNA light streams of the blue and gold rays to awaken. Visualize them braided together, creating a double helix cord connected to the star Sirius. Ask and declare that the highest resurrection of divine love and power be activated by and through the higher self, oversoul, monadic soul groups, upgrading the light body, heart consciousness, and tapping into celestial technology through the third eye. Let the DNA strands connected to the star Sirius of the blue and gold rays 
activate the solar identity of light through all timelines and dimensions, past, present, future, through all layers and levels of being, here and now, for my and your greatest good, and for the greatest good of all, I now declare, I am my own spiritual son, living my highest timeline, and divine blueprint as a human on earth, in a flash, in an instant, it is done forevermore. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. All love, all love, all love. Grace, grace, grace. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Judith Kusel. True and everlasting is the beauty, purity, and perfection of the soul. When you deeply, purely connect to your soul and see it in its perfected form, something deep within you triggers and starts shining through. You see and feel who and what you are in truth and start living this truth from your heart and soul with love. You cannot shrink yourself any more into earthly form, knowing that this vessel, which houses a fraction of your soul, is fleeting, as is life on planet Earth. You are here but for a single eye wink in eternity. The eternal soul within awakens more and more as your calling and purpose for being on this planet expands. Yet now you vision, your purpose, your calling expands into the galactic and universal highest loving service for the greater cosmic good. Your heart center expands to fully embrace your eternal light, love, and truth and to radiate this forth. You now fully embrace your true magnificence. You live it with every breathing sacred moment. From JudithKusel.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Shay from Numbers by Shay Numerology, 7824. We, the eternal part of us, use human life, just this one or maybe many others, to make our consciousness more conscious our soul more soulful. We use the laws of humanity to navigate our world, but universal laws to tell us why. Sooner or later we turn experience into wisdom. 2024 is a very important step in your personal journey of elevating from the denser energy of earthly matters into the realm of divine thought, and July takes you much deeper into the experience. Today is explosive in nature, bursting with energy, opportunity, and expansion. It can turn you upside down or finally make things right. You will feel a surge today that is yours to channel. Use it well. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Maureen Moss. Last week and into this I felt the presence of new beginnings expand in its field. This was not as a result of an experience I had, though an energy presencing itself around me that felt good. It felt right, it felt in alignment with truth. It matters not that the external chaos amplified in the background continuously attempts to draw attention and push itself to the foreground. The presence of new beginnings is far more compelling, having no need to exert itself. Truth isn't pushed on anyone. It is a felt experience and filled with grace. This expanded presence of new beginnings is catapulting off the massively expansive and impactful equinox and solstice gateways as well as the current activities of Sirius and the royal solar and Lyran lions. In this presence of new beginnings, we may well find ourselves needing to attend to what my higher self calls the throne of our singular nature. It is important that we tend to our instinctual nature, source our higher self wisdom, confer with our physical bodies and hold an unperturbed vision of the birth of each one's new reality, not someone else's vision, yours that is in resonance with you. Hold it sacred above all else and consent to nothing else. 
the current die-off of the distorted world external and reformation of our earthly beings and new earth are only temporarily and seemingly residing in the same space for now though if looked at closely the dimensions are quite different one is in shadow and the other in the light be patient as the forces of change level out and they will in and through a time such as this may you walk this earth with great tenderness blessing and synthesizing the restructuring forces that have been necessary for a new reality and a new human to become may you walk this earth in fascination and allowance for your higher self soul and destiny plan to take you by your heart and merge you with your human divinity and may the breath of god breathe into your realization the christed god goddess you are so much love to all maureen one forty four flowing in from divine brothel of delight nova max divine twin souls union of the one hundred and forty four thousand plus two the blue rays of the twelfth heavens who are the twin souls compared to a soul mate which is a close soul who has been around you in many forms whom are there to provide lessons or support during transformative phases a soul is born out of two perspectives from the outside and from the inside the whole universe is one of interpoles nothing in our multi-universe exists without his own set of poles of opposites one defines the other shiva and shakti positive and negative acid and base pain and pleasure love and hate joy and despair light and darkness hot and cold giving and receiving manifesting and allowing the souls that have reached the twelfth density and sacrificed themselves for hundreds of millions of years to bring the most extreme experiment of separation of thousands of planets back to adamic unity they have achieved a level of self-realization which transcend the self itself the way opener the son mikael krishna the collective leader of the blue rays and the supreme goddess the shakina sophia are both incarnated and uniting together into one heart with their physical avatar soon activated their union will create the cosmic rapture bringing into transformation and union the seventy two thousand blue and seventy two thousand pink rays twin souls as the prophecy unfolds closing cycles of a time far far past the greatest love story ever told is unfolding be ready for magic be ready for the eagle and the condor and our new heaven upon the new earth from divine sistar of the light chilea channel and mystic it cannot be stopped the andromeda intergalactic council greetings in the light and the love of our infinite creator as the moment approaches excitement and anticipation grow among your galactic brothers and sisters as a celestial spectacle is on the verge of unfolding your magnificent sky adorned with clouds vibrant colors and glittering stars is about to transform into a stage for the eagerly awaited reunion with your star families numerous galactic beings have traveled across galaxies to reunite with you their family this will be a profoundly meaningful moment a merging of the past and present where the mysteries of your existence will be revealed before your very eyes the disclosure of the extraterrestrial presence during the significant event will have a profound impact on earth and its inhabitants this revelation has the potential to shift humanity's collective understanding of the universe and your place within it it may challenge long-held beliefs and ideologies prompting a re-evaluation of your spiritual and philosophical frameworks the realization that humans are not alone in the cosmos could lead to a paradigm shift in how you view yourselves and your planet and all of existence 
This unveiling of our existence will trigger a shift in perspective that will compel humanity to recognize and embrace its important position within the vast universe. The realization of sharing the cosmos with other intelligent beings will ignite a wave of curiosity and exploration, driving scientific advancements and technological innovations to new heights. It will challenge your understanding of life, evolution, and reality as you know it. The encounter with extraterrestrial beings will prompt humanity to reevaluate your place in the universe, fostering a sense of unity and interconnectedness among all living beings. This monumental event will not only redefine your perception of yourselves, but also spark a global conversation about your purpose, potential, and responsibilities as inhabitants of this vast and diverse cosmos. The journey towards understanding and interacting with extraterrestrial civilizations will open up a new chapter in human history. This is a new chapter filled with endless possibilities and opportunities for growth, collaboration, and coexistence. Acknowledging your interconnectedness with the cosmos will not only evoke awe and wonder, but also instill a sense of duty and care for your planet and all its inhabitants. It will signify a crucial moment in your collective consciousness urging you to strive for greater harmony, unity, and understanding with the world around you. This event has the potential to initiate a new era of enlightenment and unity, fostering a deeper admiration for the beauty and intricacy of the universe and your role within it. In our peaceful encounter with humanity, it is crucial to remain vigilant against the possibility of encountering individuals who may seek to deceive you. It is important to note that our intentions are purely peaceful, and we will not use weapons to harm under any circumstances. Even in the face of aggression from your governments, we stand firm in our commitment to nonviolence and would not engage in any form of retaliation as we are impervious to harm. However, amidst this backdrop of peace and goodwill, there remains a lingering concern that malevolent forces could potentially exploit the situation to sow discord and chaos. There is a real risk that these malicious entities may manipulate events to provoke conflicts, directing weapons against humanity while falsely attributing them to us. Such a scenario could lead to unwarranted hostility and mistrust, jeopardizing the fragile peace that we strive to uphold in our interactions with humankind. Therefore, it is imperative for humanity to exercise caution and discernment to prevent the nefarious schemes of those who seek to disrupt our interactions with humanity. The ones who have controlled your world are now witnessing their end. They know they cannot stop what is about to take place, but they will stop at nothing to try and cause humans to fear us. The moment approaches when your many star families will show themselves in your skies. From that moment, humanity will be elevated into a new understanding of your reality. You will know when you encounter the light forces. There will be no doubt in your heart. You will know your family of light. We bring the gifts of peace, love, and oneness. We witness you, we celebrate you, and we love you. In the love and light of our infinite Creator, we are the Andromeda Intergalactic Council, here to serve the Divine. From UniversalLighthouse.com From Divine Sistar of the Light Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athena, The Return of the Heart, the beginning of everything falling into place in one's true position. The human system is a complicated living organism that correlates to the overall system that we live in. All energies were so distorted that the human consciousness had lost its direction and organic flows. The distortions led to inner structures that had false foundations, and with false inner foundations, ascension cannot take place. This is what is now being corrected. 
This means that with each foundational piece that is being brought back into its organic place, the more the overall restoration is taking place. The whole process needs to make sense, sane, natural sense. This is where we are going, at least those who have been doing the hard inner work, because the experience of this level of restoration cannot be reached unless a true and foundational inner work has taken place, because via the human, overall, unaddressed and pending trauma often distorts judgment and perpetuates insanity. Imagine the system as a huge and complicated domino structure that has been tempered with and that each individual who is entering the serious inner work is actually the self-master who is going in the deepest and most hidden parts unbothered by all the different inner distorted aspects and determined is continuing putting the domino pieces back in their place. Once a piece of the domino gets back in the right place, then it is affecting more parts of the overall structure and bigger part of the flow is being restored. We are at the point that we have already restored very big and important inner pieces, so we are also experiencing big and important inner flow coming back. Everything will be restored back to its true flow and all misunderstandings will fall away. In the midst of all this, a truthful restoration of the heart's entity is already taking place. This has been initiated by the Divine Mother. It is part of the return of the Holy Grail and it carries the most loving and beautiful energies. The heart is returning because the rites are returning. The rites and the heart are connected but the mind must quiet down so that the entity of the heart can be heard. But the mind cannot quiet down and the restoration cannot fully and harmoniously take place if there are still big inner distortions or demonic occupations which are distracting the individual away from what is truly worthy and essential. Though the demons and the parasites are leaving, they are actually trying to take as much as they can in their last and desperate efforts. These efforts of theirs, though, because the parasitic entities are in a greatly deep desperation, can turn to be disastrous and defeating if the individual is unaware of what is happening, does not align to the guidance, and just addresses the situation as usual. This time being unaware could bring really devastating results. This is not like other times of the past. So more than ever before, absolute focus and attention must be given to the guidance and messages of the higher self. Those who have been humbled and aligned are now connecting to their 5D family and guides more than ever before. This effort from our 5D guides is bigger than ever before and it will continue increasing and establishing here on earth until all living children can align to it. Our 5D guides are closer to us than ever before and ready to offer support and guidance so that the living children who are the students can find their way back home. It all began in the 5th and this is where it will also end. So according to each student's needs and genealogy, there is a different team or 5D spirit guide that undertakes to lead the student now by placing the student under his or her wings. This is a beautiful and new development which only takes place when we are at important crossroads and we change levels. The genealogy plays a very important role in this because it was the one that gave the special and personal soul characteristics and thus experiences to each one within the fallen journey. Also, as we have mentioned before, the experiences and characteristics of the earthly family are an absolute correlation to the true godly genealogies. Whether one likes this or not, and those who have remembered what took place before the falling, know this is a fact. So everyone who believes that the godly genealogies are only saintly or perfect and is seeking or to be saved or escape the experiences and characteristics of the earthly family is basically deceiving the self and has a long way ahead in order to grow and realize more parts of the overall story. 
Some godly genealogies were less involved than others, and this created fractions, friction, and imbalances on how the whole story unfolded. But what is important now is that the five D families and guides are here for all those that wish to hear and align to their support. This will be the easiest way of navigation in what is coming in the times ahead. Again, this is not like other times. Mistakes and misjudgments can cause bigger suffering than usual. There is so much help and support offered more than ever before. So please remember to ask and allow to receive and trust as the way for what you need might be given differently to what you are used to. You do not get to tell energy what to do. Instead, you have to surrender and follow the energy. The restoration of the heart is here. We will work on all the above during the group sessions of this month. The I Am Rose of the Mother is here. Blessings of Heart Healing, Erini, Amalthia Athor, Har Zaronya, Hunama Anata Kumara, Yellow Galactic Warrior. From Divine Brother of the Light Diego E. Berman, Ph.D., the 77 to 888 Window of Spiritual Manifestation. Dear friends, as we slowly leave behind the wonderful light code showers of the 77 energy portal, we are now entering into a very prosperous energetic vortex. This year, the days between the 77 gateway and the upcoming 888 Lionsgate portal, August 8, 2024, will be infused with an intense field of manifesting possibilities. And within this magnetic energetic period, According to some spiritual movements, we will also be moving through the start of the new galactic year on July 26. While the energy of the 7-7 portal is mostly focused on reawakening to our spiritual truths and strengthening the bridge between our physical existence and the spiritual dimensions, the energy of the 888 gateway will be about bringing this renewed heaven and earth connection to life and into the physical world. We are anchoring 5D light codes into the physical substrate and therefore assisting with the overall planetary ascension. The 888 portal this year is further enhanced by the triple appearance of the prosperous vibrations of number 8. This period we are entering now from 77 to 888 can be seen as an energetic bridge between these two powerful yet different fields of light codes. During this time window of approximately 31 days, we are merging our abilities to anchor heavenly high frequency energies, 77, and channel them into our physical realities, 888. While the 77 light codes have a more feminine and nurturing energetic imprint, the triple eight codes will have a stronger masculine feeling and therefore a more active role in the manifestation process. As we move through this energetic vortex, many of you will experience incredible synchronicities in your life. These signs will be guiding you to make important decisions that will change the course of your timelines. You may start seeing connections between random events that will open your eyes to new higher perspectives. These synchronicities are meant to assist you in your life's journey so you can reconnect with your divinely given co-creating abilities. You may find that during the 77 to 888 period, your intuition will be heightened. Your deep wishes may come to life and prosperous new projects will unfold easily if your heart and mind are aligned with your soul's path. But even if you are not yet fully aligned, you may use this period to go deeper within. Listen to your feelings and connect with this manifesting field of light codes. All that matters is that your heart and mind are open to initiate this process of inner alignment. All the rest will come by itself. This new week will find us processing and integrating the 7-7 light codes. You may feel the need for more rest or to just take it easy and remove unnecessary events from your calendar during the first half of the week. The 7 7 to 8 8 8 period will be important for finding a new higher ground and timeline for the rest of the year. The synchronicities you will be experiencing during this period may come in different shapes, 
seeing repeating numbers, seeing repeated words or issues and themes, meeting new people, or simply experiencing a warm sense of joy when you see or hear something in your reality. Do listen to those signs, as they are energetic signposts guiding you to manifest your intended journey on earth. Have a wonderful week and a prosperous 77 through 888 window. Stay tuned for more updates as the energies unfold. Much love, we are one, from DiegoBerman.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica, Synchronizing Light. For each of you, hold the unique light codes of now, enabling you to facilitate the great change you are seeking. We ask you, feel into the great light antenna of you, the cosmic expression of light you are emitting. For the quantum codes of your world are organizing new formats of crystalline light, new formats of light assimilations to necessitate the quantum change of now. We ask you to perceive this light changes throughout the sky. Feel into the night presence of the stars. Checking in with the vibrational presence of your world is a requirement to understand the light resonance of now. For a good example to ponder is the touch of water. To gauge the temperature, as you engage your hand, you instantly connect to the temperature, resulting in millions of nerve signals to your brain. It is the signal of feeling and perceiving beyond the physical form, awakening to the crystalline matrix of now. For many reside within your light, simply attuning to the vibrational parameters of your world will assist you in navigating light. Simply observe and feel, for like the weather, the vibrational parameters of your world are upgrading, sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians and Karen, from KarenLithica.com. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code. You are making wise decisions that are leading to your success. Some of these choices have been difficult, but you trusted your heart's guidance that has tapped into your ancient wisdom. You may have had to be flexible and change directions to maneuver through obstacles. Now you will begin seeing the results of your efforts as everything is coming into balance. The Sirius Gateway is downloading galactic energies that are unlocking in your heart chakra. New relationships and opportunities are beginning to appear. These are in alignment with the same sacred path and spiritual vision as you. Step forward into this new beginning and expand in giving and receiving new love. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you, love Carolyn, from 144godcode.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Ra James. Today we have a Venus-Uranus sextile. Venus and Cancer will align with Uranus and Taurus. This is all about opening yourself up and believing in love again. It's encouraging you to open up your heart so you can receive that love that is meant for you. This is a beautiful alignment. Venus and Cancer is all about love and commitment. Uranus always brings unexpected and sudden changes. Expect a lot of healing and even a dramatic turnaround when it comes to your love life. Expect the unexpected. That means we are seeing big shifts in this area. It's all about staying open. These energies are helping you to find and work towards being with the one meant for you. Venus is bringing a lot of beautiful energies for your love life. Expect positive shifts. It's all about healing the heartbreak you have been through so that you can open up again. These energies are all about continuing to heal and work on yourself so that you can be a better partner. Once again, fate is in the air this week. Expect to feel more confident around love. This alignment can bring new energies into your life. It can bring an uplifting and exciting energy into your relationships. This alignment is meant to bring you out of your shell. Expect an exciting energy around your love life. From Sparks of Divine Light Healing .com. From Divine Sistar of the Light, Adrian Elise, July 8th through 15th, 2024, A New Garden, Supernova Astrology Update. 
It's been an intense couple of weeks with our personal planets coming into square with the nodes of the moon and then Chiron and Aries. This has been bringing up insecurities about our way forward. Venus just squared up with Chiron on the heels of the Cancer New Moon, which happened on July 5th and 6th. Our feminine is breaking free from the chains and rewriting the story. Black Moon Lilith has been in opposition to Neptune at the very end degrees of Pisces. It's time to come out from under the oppression of the persecution of spiritual light which poisoned the Piscean Age. Supernova healers are coming back into their power. Feminine creative energy is being unleashed into the world. Black Moon Lilith has moved into the sign of Libra, shining a light on the shadows of dark, past relationship trauma. We must clean it up in order to move into our soulmate relationships. Black Moon Lilith will meet up with the south node of the moon in Libra at the end of August. Old relationship patterns could bloom and unwind as we make room for our true soulmate supernova relationships. The sun and cancer just squared up with the nodes of the moon in Aries and Libra. We are halfway to the next eclipses, which happen in September and October. Our humanness is in tension with the way forward. Humanity can only evolve and survive by coming back to compassion. This is the new dream we came here to co-create, the original dream. We are remembering. Mother is calling us home. The sun and cancer will square up with Chiron on July 15th. There is no way to have a nurturing world and at the same time continue to remain beholden to external control forces. It's our love that sets us free in the end. It's an important time to come into our true identity as loving and compassionate beings. We can no longer let the old paradigms of slavery and power games control our reality. It's now or never to take back our world, letting love be the final authority. It's a massive activation of our higher intuitive gifts, with Mars coming up to Uranus and Taurus on July 16th. Our masculine warrior is fighting for the return of free energy to the people. Supernova souls are waking up more each day to the truth of the incredible power available in their very own energetic field. It's time to turn on our lights and go supernova. We are feeling a big shift of energy with both Saturn and Neptune turning retrograde this past week. It is time to regroup and reassess what has happened in this overwhelming, activating 2024 astrology. Saturn and Neptune have made it as far as they are going to go this year. And now we must pause to get a grip. Neptune at the very end degree of the zodiac is reminding us that this era is a jump start into a new paradigm. This is where we rewrite the story. Jupiter in Gemini is pushing us to begin to express ourselves in the world in new ways. Mercury in Leo is coming into sextile with Jupiter. Mercury will also be in trine to the north node of the moon, bringing information about how to move forward. Downloads are flooding in. It's time to sing the song of the goddess once again as we play and co-create our new world together. Jupiter and Gemini is coming into trine with the south node of the moon in Libra and into sextile with the north node of the moon in Aries from July 10th to the 17th. We are lifting up into a new reality. Can't we just step into the dream? Pluto is heading back into Capricorn. As we rehash anywhere, we are still giving our energy and power away to lower forces. Pluto is also in a harmonizing sextile with Neptune at the end degrees of Pisces. We are reworking the structures of our world on every level. So much is falling away. It's a feeling like being lost in space or perhaps just jumping off a cliff you didn't know was there. It's a free fall. The only way to come back into deeper connection and trust with the mother. I will catch you, she says. Go ahead and let it crumble all around you. Release it all so that a new garden can grow. From AdrianAlice.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Colleen Lemma. On Monday, July 8th, Mercury, ruler of communications and colorful Leo the Lion.
is in a positive sextile aspect to Jupiter, ruler of the big picture, and busy Gemini the twins. This is an opportunity to expand into new, inspired thoughts and ideas. It is about forming creative perceptions regarding the various possibilities and potentials in our lives. This is about receiving favorable messages and information from higher sources. The moon is also an enthusiastic Leo today, connecting with Saturn, planet of manifestation, Mars, ruler of action, Chiron the healer, and Uranus, ruler of change and redirection. Take charge. Be a leader. Stay determined. Express yourself. This is a day for artistic, imaginative, and visionary notions. Blessings of love and light to all from sacredsoulempowerment.com and today from divine sister of delight leah whitehorse venus in cancer sextile uranus in taurus mercury in leo sextile jupiter in gemini and trine north node in aries astrologically it's the perfect start to a week don't let the monday blues take you down before you've even begun consider what if this day were different what if I took a different route to work? What if I try that new pastry shop? What if I free my heart to live in all the ways it can? Here is an opportunity to explore alternative paths to happiness. When you change frequency, you attract a different person, a different experience, a different life. And now the mind is tumbling and laughing. So many thoughts, so many ideas, so many conversations to have. Let the words run riot in your mind. Dare to think all the things you shoved away for fear of upsetting the apple cart. Maybe it's time to have that conversation, to push for the life you desire. Think big. It's okay to ask for more. You can still appreciate everything that you have already. Make space in your heart for exciting possibilities to come. Start scripting new chapters. From LeahWhitehorse.com and today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 1, Red Magnetic Dragon. Magnetic is the name for the number one, and today is the very first day of a whole new Zolkeen cycle. New beginnings start here. Whether you want to change your life or start a new project, this is a great day to proclaim your intentions to succeed. The key words associated with number one are attract, unify, and purpose. On number one days, we can feel compelled to find a purpose. Once this purpose is identified, we can then proceed to attract what we need to follow the task through to completion. For smaller projects and ideas, a wave spell can prove to be a useful tool. Start out on day one with a promise to yourself. You will complete by the last day. For bigger things, you can use the whole Zolkin cycle in the same way. So if you want, you can use today to find a purpose that will motivate you enough that you will see it through to the end. Today is Red Dragon, and its key words are nurture, being, and birth. Dragon symbolizes new beginnings, but it also is about taking good care of yourself. This Dragon Day falls on a portal day, which only happens twice in the Zolkin, and so this gives a nice boost to the energy of the day. It's a great day for taking it easy and being kind to yourself and others. Find a nice comfy cave to hide in for a while and see how much better you'll feel afterwards. Once you are in a relaxed mood, contemplate your new beginnings and meditate on the plans you have. Have you noticed how hard it is to think straight when you are burnt out? Taking care of yourself is not a waste of time, but an investment in your future. Dragon energy can bring out our caring nature, and we can feel like we need to look after others on these days. Make sure you are not last on your list of people who deserve some care. The guide for the day is also the red dragon, so a double helping of nurturing and birth. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papagiorgio, Red Magnetic Dragon. 1. Emish, Keen 1, 8th of July, 2024, Birthing a New Golden Era. Keen 1, New Beginnings, Galactic Activation Portal Day with a 5 Liberation Code, enabling us to break free as we commence a new chapter, a fresh new start. 
Today we are birthing a new cycle, a new world, and a new reality. So many divine codes supporting these new beginnings as we step up as creator beings in order to birth this beautiful new cycle. Yesterday, Keen 260 marked a final completion as we walked through the interdimensional doorways, leading to today's brand new start. Two galactic activation portal days in a row. Today we have an 878 code bringing forth divine magic and miracles. Many heaven-sent blessings for the graduating supernova souls. Spiritual alchemy is at play as we commence this brand new galactic spin of the Zolkine in the Dreamspell Galactic Calendar. Alleluia, beloveds, we have arrived. A divine new beginning. We have now completed our journey with a brilliantly elegant yellow star, culminating in a grand crescendo for the finale of the show, for all the star bliss supernova suns to cast their wishes upon. We now bid adieu to the beautiful influence of Lamat, who has sparked our creativity, and open our eyes to the beauty, peace, and harmony that exists in our world, and what it is that we wish to now create. Yellow Star reminds us to slow down and let our lives become a poetic work of art, a lesson that our global family needs to learn and implement in this new cycle. Our life is the canvas, and we are the artists, and now we are launching into impending stardom, ready to take center stage as the shining stars in our own life journey. We are commencing a new story now, so it is time to paint the first chapter. Today marks the beginning of a fresh new 13-day wave spell with the Red Dragon as our guide during this Yang Wood Dragon year double dragon energy, to super boost our new creations. This is the first new wave spell which kicks off our new higher octave spin of the Zolkin Mayan calendar for the next 260-day, 9-month moon journey. The red magnetic dragon is our host, Keen number 1, as we are escorted back to the void, the sacred womb of creation, for some much-needed divine nurturance through the dragon tribe. Red dragons represent our primal mother, how we create and how we nurture ourselves and others. What is it that is our responsibility to nurture? How will you nurture and pamper yourself and your family each day, and what creation will you birth? These are the questions to consider during this wave spell, as we collectively birth this new golden era. Today's question is, how can we birth our beautiful new compassionate world? by loving and supporting each other in our united global family, divine blessings for a pain-free and spontaneous natural birthing process to all our supernova souls. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 1, Red Magnetic Dragon. The mantra the code for today is, I unify in order to nurture, attracting being. I seal the input of birth with the magnetic tone of purpose. I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world for free, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Or if you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light Cindy Bell for your super thanks donation on YouTube today. 
Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your support. I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light, Peace 4 and 8, for your super thanks donation on YouTube today. Thank you very much, Divine Angel. We appreciate you and your support. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a very powerful prayer from Divine Sistar of the Light, Anna Maria Medina. Quantum Prayer Our Mother, Father, God, you are in my heart. Blessed is your love for me, for all mankind, and for all your creation. I humbly thank you for contributing to your manifestation kingdom here on earth and in doing your blessed will, spreading peace, love, and brotherhood wherever you go. I thank you for the blessed creative energy that fully meets all my needs, whether they are physical or spiritual. Gratitude for developing in my consciousness the capacity to forgive myself for my errors and offenses, and to all those who, for whatever reason, have ever wronged and offended me. Gratitude for perfect health that makes every cell in my body vibrate with joy, protecting me from all evil. Gratitude for the possibility of ascension through sanctified experiences in the flesh that as I advance raise my vibrations of love and protect me from the temptation of duality. I am light. I am grateful. In love, angel. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed day as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into our new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. And keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.